So we're here at the Sawyer Brook. Um, we just hiked up and down a mountain. I, I don't remember. The what mountain? Oh, Moody Mountain. I'm here with uh, Bubbles and Barbie and uh, what is it, Nate Dog? And uh, we're going to hike like seven more miles and then we're going to stealth somewhere. We just left Andover and we tented for free behind the Little Red Hen restaurant and they were really nice. Um, they even shuttled us back to the trail for free and they had really good food and like showers and a charging station. So highly recommend that. They're really nice. Um, so the rest of the day should be pretty easy after we climb up the next one. And then we'll have a couple of big days ahead of us probably in the Mahoosics. Look at this rainbow. Oh my gosh. Can y'all see that? It's been like raining like on and off. I don't know if you can see it that well on the camera. It's kind of already fading. Um, it's been raining on and off all day and yeah, it's like already gone. Oh my gosh. I hope you saw it at the beginning, but uh, there was a rainbow over there, like all over the valley. And I was not even going to walk over here to this overlook, <laughs> but um, that was really pretty and it's gone now. So we're here on top of the east peak of Bald Pate Mountain, Mountain. and um, the climb up here, it was kind of, it was pretty gnarly. There was one spot with a really sketchy ladder and like a rope, and it was really rocky, and it was a little bit wet, um, the rock going up, but we did have pretty good traction. And we're about to go down a little bit and up to the west peak and then down a lot more and we're going to camp somewhere in Grafton Notch. So probably the next couple miles might be a little technical but then after that hopefully the last two won't be as bad. So we've only got like four point something left to go. Um, but it's pretty cool up here. It's really windy but it's good view. Okay, I think I'm at the very top of Mahusik Arm. Uh, we stopped and took a little break. Um, they went for a swim. We had a snack down at the last lean-to in the notch. And now we climbed up here. And now we're going to go down the arm. So it's only a mile. Um, and it's only 1,500 feet down. So I'll try to film some uh, as much as I can. But... You know, it's supposed to be hard, so I might not be able to film all that much. Um, but yeah, let's do this. So I know that perspective is <laughs> not going to be any good on here. Um, but, let's see, I came from over there, and I'm going straight down there. Like you see right back there with that, that's a full-size tree. Um... But you probably still can't really tell. But so far, like, it's not been horrible. Um, it's honestly just, like, a longer stretch of the worst of climbs we've already done. So, and I only have, like, another mile. And I just passed um, some people coming up. And they said that it's steep in places, but it's not so bad. And also that the notch is going to be dry when we get there. So that's great. As long as it doesn't rain on us. Which I don't think it's going to. It looked kind of dark for a minute. But now it doesn't. It looks pretty clear. So, so far it's not too bad. Alright, so I'm down here uh, between the arm and the notch. I made it down off of the arm. I think I'm in this one campsite that's listed in the guidebook. So I think I'm just about to start the arm. Um, but honestly, uh, the arm is way, way over height. Um, I mean, there were a few places that were steep, but it wasn't even that bad. Like, um, honestly, honestly, the climb down off of Old Spec this morning was worse to me. Um, like, it was tougher. Uh, so, in my opinion, I think the arm is way overhyped. Uh, I passed several people, and every single one of them said that the notch was really fun. So, I guess I'll be the judge of that. In, uh, in a little bit, but I'm going to stop and take a little snack break and just a few minute, um, few minutes 
to break. It's almost three o'clock. Um, but that was physically, it wasn't that bad, but like mentally it was a little bit exhausting. So I'm just going to take a little break now. And then I only have like two and a half miles to the shelter, the full goose shelter where we're camping. So, um, I just have one mile of Mahusik Notch and then we're going to climb up to Fulling Mill Mountain and then come down a little bit and that's it for today and yeah it's not been um not been too bad so far I'm glad that the the arm was not nearly as bad as I was worried it was going to be so that's good also uh I forgot to mention um earlier I said that there was like no summit for old spec but apparently i missed the side trail that was like 0.2 miles that goes up to a fire tower and uh everybody else went up there and i didn't so there is a summit if you take the side trail i just i guess i wasn't paying attention um also uh tomorrow we are going to enter new hampshire finally um we're gonna be down with maine and then um the day after that we're gonna go into gorham and we're going to take a full zero there in Gorham because I think we're all ready for just a little bit of a break. Um, but they have a lot of stuff in Gorham and there's like a good hostel that we're going to stay at. So it should be pretty nice. Um, and also I think everything after the notch to Gorham, I don't think it's supposed to be very difficult or anything. Um, so the next like day and a half, um, it should be pretty good. So, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Ooh, do you feel that? Yeah. It's cold. Ah. <laughs> Was that graceful? It was graceful. There's the blaze in top left. So we uh, we made it through the notch, and now we have um, we're climbing up. Oh, um, I forget the name of the mountain. Full something. But anyway, we're climbing up here. It's only like a mile and a half to the um, shelter and it's going to be a thousand foot climb over a mile so it's real steep and uh, I'm already I'm pretty exhausted that uh, mile of bouldering was a lot of effort it was pretty fun but it was like whoo I'm ready to go take a nap and sleep forever not really um, it was fine but uh, yeah I'm ready to make camp for sure but we made it, we got through the hardest stuff, so yay. So I'm about uh, two and a half or three miles away from the New Hampshire border. Thank goodness, it's about time. Um, I'm pretty ready to be out of Maine. Um, but I will say, as far as the Maine Trail, before I came out here, I did not consider myself very much of a climber, but now I feel like I could probably climb just about anything you put in front of me. Maybe not with my pack, um, but yeah, um, so thanks for that, Maine. Um, I don't know that I would come back here again. Um, certain places, oh, for sure. Um, oh, this way you know, like, specific climbs and stuff, and, like, uh, the lakes were really nice, and, you know, there are some pretty good views, but, like, the hiking itself has not been super enjoyable, um, honestly, we've been hiking on such, honestly, really tough terrain for so long that I don't even remember what decent trail is like, um, I was just thinking back, on like there's a lot of bog boards here you can see um 
on before when I thought I'd done like strenuous or difficult hiking, but literally like nothing I've done before even remotely compares to how hard it is to hike here in Maine, um, especially Southern Maine. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to get to New Hampshire because I'm uh, kind of over Maine, you know. Um, but, you know, it was really cool. I mean, I saw moose, saw some good wildlife. There were a lot of really nice people out here. Um, the towns were pretty nice, so that's good. But almost to New Hampshire. So I'm not 100% sure, but I think that might be uh, Barbie and Nathan up there on top of uh, whatever that mountain is. Might be, no, I'm not in New Hampshire yet. I'll look when I get up there, but I'm headed straight up that way. It's like not a very long climb, so. <laughs> That's definitely bubbles down there. Where did he go? Oh, I don't think I can, you see that little person? I see his orange ground pad. Oh, he stopped. Where'd he go? Where did he go? I think he stopped. <laughs> I'm not quite all the way up this yet. Um, there were a lot of like steps and ladders and stuff. Where did he go? Maybe he's taking a break. Oh, there he is. There he is. Right. Can't zoom in anymore. He's like right in the middle. How am I still in Maine right now? <laughs> and why is that the trail? <laughs> Came from way down there. This is like yesterday that did the notch except going up. <laughs> what? This is some nonsense. We finally made it to New Hampshire. No more Maine forever. Not really. I mean, not for a while. Here's the sign. Thank goodness. Katahdin is 282 miles away. Came from that way. And we're going that way. Okay, I hope that you can hear this because uh, my headphones broke earlier. I crushed them by accident when I was bouldering some boulders. Um, but there's a Walmart in Gorham, so I'm going to get some new headphones when I go to town. Um, and maybe, I don't know, sometimes when I'm in a closed space, like I'm in my tent right now, um, I think the sound works okay, so we'll see. But... Um, I just wanted to recap a little bit because uh, tomorrow we're going into Gorham and well, I don't know, maybe Bubbles went there tonight. He said he was hungry and he was going to try to go into town, but it was like over 20 miles and it was pretty strenuous. So I don't know if he's actually going to go all the way to town, but I hope so. Uh, but anyway, I uh, did not make it 14 and a half miles. I made it like 10. Um, I'm at a shelter, but like I tented kind of pretty far away from the shelter, so there's nobody around me. And um, that means that tomorrow I've got like it's like 11 and a half to get into Gorham, but I'm gonna wake up like super early. I'm gonna try to be on the trail by 5:30. That's my goal, and I'm just gonna just gonna keep going. Um, until I get there, I all the Novos that I passed today looked really exhausted. I'm sorry, I'm doing this in two videos, so it'll upload better. But yeah, all the Novos I passed today looked really exhausted. And this one man, <laughs> it was a through hiker too, and he looked so defeated. He was like, I really just want to take a nap. He was like sitting at this uh, creek a little while back, and he was like... Um, I thought once I got out of the whites and uh, into Maine that it would get easier, but it's not. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's probably not going to be easy for a little while. Especially like the next, I don't know, like 30 miles were pretty tough. Like the, la the last 30 that we did. But anyway, I'm going to have a big day tomorrow, but then we're going to take a full zero the next day. So I'm just going to, just going to get there. Um, just going to make it happen and try to get there as fast as I can tomorrow and uh, hopefully I get there like afternoon maybe um, but yeah I'm real ready for zero 
um, because the stuff that's coming up next, uh, we have like the Wildcats and the Presidentials and all that stuff. It looks really hard. I mean, it is really hard. So I'm going to take a nice break and rest up for that.